Hello everyone, welcome to episode 1 of my Unity Basics tutorial series. Um, in this video we'll be learning about the Unity interface. Um, if you don't have Unity installed, um, make sure to go do that. It, you simply just go to the website and download it, you'll find it there. I'll put that in the description. And once you download it, it's going to look some. it's not going to look like this, uh, not like that either. It's going to look like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to have the default layout. Um, so it's going to look something like this. And so the first view I want to talk about is the scene view. This is where you basically make your game. So if I put make a cube, you're going to modify it here, move it around here. So that's basically that. And the game view is what you're going to see when your game is run, when you run it. So that's basically those two. They're very simple. Um, in their console, where errors appear in your project or in your code. So I don't know what this these errors are, but you know, you can just clear it by doing that. If it gets annoying, if they're not too major, some errors you're gonna have to fix in order to run the game. Um, those would include like scripting errors. Um, and then your animation window. And if you don't have that, you're gonna use this one. So you might wanna put it somewhere. Um, this is where you actually animate your game objects. So we'll get in more in depth in these and how to use them. But this is where you animate your uh, assets that you have that you have currently selected. And the inspector is where the properties of the asset you have currently selected are found. So f this cube, this is all the properties. So this is where like this is the transform. This is where it is in in the world. And these are all the different properties that in that are included with the cube. And the hierarchy, which is right here, shows all assets in your scene. So that's basically that. So it shows everything. So this is where the directional light is. It's the main camera. Yeah. And project includes all the assets and materials that your project contains. So this is the project uh, view. And the layers, which is up here, which I don't really use as much, but if you need to use it but this is what it is it's where you can select a specific group of assets or objects that you want to see in your scene view so if I let's say make a couple more of these okay didn't really need to do that but so right now I can see everything so if I want to see nothing I don't see anything so so I want to see everything you do that you can do specific your UI. So that's that. It's different. You can select what you want to see in your scene view specifically if things get in your way, I guess. And last but not least, your um, layout uh, button um, is where you can customize how Unity is organized. Or This is where you can customize how everything is laid out. So this is the one I use. I use um this one. This is the one I use personally. Um, but you can always make your own. So when you open up unity it's going to look like this and if you don't like this it's all personal preference so if let's say you want to add the not animator let's say if you want to add the animation um, view here all you have to do is simply save it by going here save layout you can name it say it like my layout now it's now you have your layout right here and now if let's say you're on default like when you open up the uh, unity again you go to my layout and it's saved so and if you don't and if you want to get rid of layouts you can go to delete layout why is it on my other monitor okay there you go and you can find my layout it's gone so it's simple as that um so that these are all the most important views i believe this is all i really work with and you also might use the um animator so you can put that somewhere too you might need that for like animation um you can put the asset store. We'll go over this later. But these are all the main ones. So these are all the main ones that you're going to use. So that concludes this uh, tutorial. I hope this helped. And stay tuned for the next one. See ya.